done. So this is going to be my How I Style Stripes and um, the Spring Summer Edition. So without further ado, let's get started. Dungarees are making a huge, huge comeback this spring and summer and it's kind of like paying an ode to your childhood. So it's like a throwback to the 80s and the 90s and I decided to play up the whole kiddie nature of it by wearing a bright orange toy watch because it's bright, it's fun and I just really like the pop of colour on my wrist. If you're self-conscious about wearing horizontal stripes because they do give off the illusion of a wider torso, the big block of denim just hides that and gives the illusion of a much slimmer torso and you still incorporate in horizontal stripes of it too. I decided to make it a little bit more grown up by wearing my black bowler hat and also the black stompy ankle boots from Topshop that give me a bit of height. They make my legs look a lot longer and it just looks a bit more adult than a five-year-old outfit. So the second outfit, usually stripy shirts like these are normally associated with workwear but I decided to kind of work with it but also work against it. So the school blazer kind of goes along with the whole workwear idea but because of the white piping and the gold detailing and also the big fat school badge on the side, kind of makes it a bit more preppy and something you'll probably see on like Gossip Girl or something. And I decided to make it a lot more casual by wearing denim shorts because they are a summer basic but I think wearing the blue denim shorts really kind of highlights the blue stripes of the outfit. Wearing denim shorts has given it more play playfulness to the outfit. So this third look is all about the leather. Um, this is a brush and strap jumper and you probably usually see it on the likes of like Lexa Chung. It's a really classic, it's just a nice staple piece that you usually find in all the high streets and the stores. Um, I decided just to really rock it up and play with the leather so I'm wearing a leather waistcoat, leather boots. Decided to just really go for the whole monochrome look because if you're going to work it you might as well go all out. Alternatively if you don't like to wear a leather waistcoat it looks equally as nice with a denim waistcoat and it's really really appropriate for the spring and summer it's not as doom and gloom as wearing a black and white outfit and it adds a nice kind of denim trend to your outfit as well um, and again if you're self-conscious about wearing stripes then this is a great way of breaking up the main body of it. And then for this look, we're really going to hit the neon trend on the head. Instead of wearing a big bright neon outfit, I decided to pair this black and white stripy cardigan. It's a very slouchy cardigan, it's very comfortable, but I think the neon shirt helps to bring out the colours and it doesn't make it look so boring. Um, and I just really like this big pop of colour. If you're scared of wearing neons, a great way is to just layer it up with a darker piece over the top. Okay, so this is normally my referee outfit, as a lot of people like to call it, because of the vertical stripes. Unlike the horizontal stripes, vertical stripes don't give off the illusion of a wider torso, and I just think it's a lot easier to wear as well. Um, I really, really love this shirt, but because it's so thick and black and white, I decided to just kind of play with the gold accessories. So I'm wearing my gold spiky chain just to go along the whole like rock chick, hard, tough look. And this is a really statement outfit, and I think it's a really great outfit to wear if you're going out for a party or if you're going out for drinks with friends. So a lot of the stripes I featured are actually black and white and then I decided to play a lot with like stripy colours because obviously it's spring and summer time and we all want to wear a lot more colour and make it look a bit more refreshing and a bit nicer than the dark attire that you normally wear during autumn and winter. So this green stripy top is actually from Topshop, it's sleeveless and I decided to pair it with some black leather trousers and a black blazer because normally if you think of stripy tops you can think of you know going out for day trips and shopping but actually you can wear it for work wear or for more formal occasions but instead of wearing some black skinny jeans I decided to give you off a sheen from my leather trousers and leather again is a huge trend in spring and summer time and it also keeps you warm for those chillier days and then finally a striped blazer because stripes are everywhere and I think Sometimes it's quite nice to think outside the box and instead of wearing striped tops and striped jumpers, a striped blazer is equally as nice and it's kind of more eye-catching. Wearing a black and white underneath it, it makes the navy stripes really pop out and just really exaggerate the stripes. And also wear these burgundy leather trousers just to play the colours a bit more. I think navy and red go really well together. It's kind of like a subtle nautical outfit. If you like the nautical trend then this is a nice way of going about it and it looks a lot more subtle as well. So that's all of the outfits, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have a favourite outfit below. I will be styling a How I Style Dungarees video very very soon, but I'm going to wait for the weather to be a bit warmer so it's a bit more appropriate. I hope you're all well, having a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!